It's one of the most popular sleepaway camps in Texas, Camp La Junta in the hill country town of Hunt. In 2009, a young boy attending this camp was sexually abused by a counselor. That counselor went to prison, but the story does not end there. Channel 2 investigates spent months looking into the case. We went undercover and discovered that staff wasn't telling parents the whole truth. Investigator Robert Arnold details a lawsuit filed by the child's family, and he's explaining questions parents should ask when choosing a camp. Summer camp can be a magical place. I was like any other kid, all excited, ready to go out to the outdoors. 11 years old in 2009, this boy was looking forward to going away. Camp is supposed to be fun. KPRC agreed to shield his identity and voice. He was molested by the senior counselor in his cabin, a crime that also prompted a lawsuit against the camp. Every day I have to live with what happened. Matthew Beauvais was a counselor at Camp La Junta in Hunt, Texas, near Kerrville. The first night I started doing the thing called shower checks. Somehow as he touched you, he could feel if you were clean or not. Court documents state Beauvais also showed off his knives and falsely claimed he was a Marine. Every day he gets a little bit closer there and then eventually he was actually like caressing genitals. Humiliated, the then fourth grader couldn't say he was molested but wrote to his parents, I had to take a shower six times as punishment. I want to go home. P.S. Please do something. Immediately thinking so something was very wrong. His mother says she spoke with one of the camp owners, Blake Smith, who assured her everything was fine. In the lawsuit, she claims she insisted Smith let her talk to her son, but didn't realize the molester and Smith were standing near him during that call. I wasn't gonna tell her what happened when there's a guy with a bunch of knives. I'm about to accuse of sexual assault to me, you know, right there. When he got home, his parents say he was severely depressed. The family pushed Smith for answers. Court documents read Smith told her not to be concerned, even though around the time her son was molested, Smith noted Beauvais was not to be trusted and clashing with much of fellow staff. They knew he was a known problem while he was at camp. They kept him in a cabin with little boys. A year later, her son broke his silence. It was the worst day of our life. It's a day I'll never forget. Are you blackmailing me, sir? No, I'm not. I'm just doing high school fly. Beauvais denied it. The truth is, I, I, nowhere in my memory do I ever remember touching this. Honestly, I, I swear. Beauvais pleaded guilty to injury to a child and is in prison. The lawsuit claims Smith did not meaningfully investigate the boy's complaints about shower checks. The suit was settled and camp officials finally wrote a letter admitting the sexual abuse. We asked Blake Smith to sit down with us on camera and explain what happened that summer and what changes the camp has made since then. Twice he agreed and twice he canceled. Channel 2 investigates kept digging. We found this newsletter from October reading the camp completed a rigorous three-year safety review for a child safety accreditation from the Presidium Corporation. That's a company that works with child care businesses. We also went undercover at a recent camp event in Houston where parents were assured. Not true, according to Presidium. The company wrote it did a risk assessment for the camp, but La Junta is not Presidium accredited. Smith then responded in an email writing, staff mistakenly understood that we had completed accreditation and one of our staff recently inadvertently misstated the camp received accreditation. He added, La Junta changed training and policies after working with Presidium. I want to make sure there's no more victims. The family is pushing for tougher state regulations and they say parents should ask camps how they screen employees and more importantly how they supervise those supervising your kids. I want something good to come out of our tragedy. Texas licenses camps but doesn't put a lot of information online. In fact when we checked La Junta's record there is no mention of the sexual abuse case even though reporting it is required. The Department of State Health Services now says it will refer that issue to its enforcement review committee. Tomorrow morning on Channel 2 News Today we're also going to have a step-by-step -step guide on researching camps before you sign up your child. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.